All right, Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to my power. Yahweh, Bahashon, Yahweh Shai, Bahashon, Racha, Kodash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus, and the Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide, and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude the men, women, and children that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai will show mercy upon him in these last days. I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying unto the hopeful elect. All right. In this lesson, I'm going to be reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter, from the first verse all the way to the eighth verse and um you know if it be of the lord's will i will pull out some precepts so i'm hot right into it this is ecclesiastes 7 and verse 1 it reads a good name is better than precious ointment all right and how do you how do you receive a good name all right you read the book of jeremiah um the sixth chapter let me just get that all right, because you, re you receive a good name by following after the greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth. All right, who this world ignorantly called Jesus, but his true, holy, powerful name is Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's in the ancient Hebrew tongue. All right, because the letter J, uh, it wasn't invented when he walked the earth. All right, and I believe the letter J was invented in the late 1500s early 1600s so what was they calling him before prior to the 1500s all right you got to go back into the ancient hebrew tongue all right so let's go back to let's go to jeremiah 6 and verse 16 because this is how you receive a good name all right this is jeremiah 6 and 16 thus saith the lord yahweh stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein? So in order for you to receive a good name, you have to return back unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, and when you read um, all the great men of the Bible, you know, Noah, um, Adam, all right, uh, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Moses, King David, you know, all these great men that was spoken about in the Bible, they followed the ways of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right? They was keeping the dietary law. They followed the law of statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right? You read the book of Job. The Lord uh, said Job was a perfect and an upright man. Okay? And it says, uh, and ye shall find rest for your souls but they said we, we would not walk therein so that point is you know coming back unto Yahweh Shmael Shai following after the Lord's ways keeping his law statutes and commandments that's how that's how you uh, receive a good name so let's go back to Ecclesiastes 7 and 1 a good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than the day of one's birth right and we understand that you know through the scriptures because you know we're not truly living on this side okay here we are we're subject unto payments you know we have to um, work for, for our enemies okay we in this wicked and vile flesh all right it says let me read that from the top again ecclesiastes 7 to 1 a good name is better than precious ointment you know and, and you know you think about the state of our people, you know, more particularly two thirds of our people, you know, they think 
um, having a good name is, you know, following um, the ways of this world, okay? You think about the uh, who the world looks up to, uh, the so-called black men that our people look up to, you know, they look up to Michael Jordan, they look up to Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, you know, Floyd Mayweather, all right? They look up to um, Tupac and Biggie, you know, but those men, the scripture says, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So they're, they uh, first in this society, but in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be last in the kingdom of heaven, you know? But us, that's that's a part of the elect, all right? Lord willing, we be at that number, all right? The Lord is going to um, turn things right side up, all right? Because there ain't no way that these men of this world should be put on a high status, all right? But we, the scripture says, Job 9 to 24, that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So right now we're living amongst a wicked generation we're living in a wicked society so of course niggas like Lil Boosie gonna be uh esteemed as as good men all right little baby um um little Dirk you know Chief Keith all these uh cats out here you know when you mention those people name they like man you know I want to be like them you know what, what they do they idolize these men all right but they're not good men those men uh, are going to be destroyed unless they repent okay and it says in the day of death then the day of one's birth all right hey man because you know we're getting ready to receive the kingdom of heaven all right and those men who who um died serving the lord hey amen it's going to be a great reward for those men who died for the for, for the for the uh testimony of your how about shemal shot okay because those men who died serving the lord those spirits are going to get raised back up, you know, from the dead, all right? And us who who endure until the end, you know, Lord willing, we be at that number, all right, we're going to get beamed up into those chariots, man. So, hey, hey, because what, 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 what did Job say, uh, you know, about his, uh, the day he was born? Let me just get that real quick. Um, this is Job 9 and 3. I'm going to start at one and it reads, after this open Job his mouth and curse his day, right? Like his day was speaking about the day of his birth, you know, which this world celebrates. It says, and Job spake and said, let the day perish wherein I was born in the night in which it was said, there is a man child conceived, you know? So it'll, Job said, cursed be the day that I was born. All right. Hey, because we're born into this hell, man. We're born into um, sin, all right? This world is uh, corrupt, it's wicked. You know, you in the spiritual world, you know, you, you at peace. You with the heavenly father and his only begotten son, all right? You know that you're an Israelite, all right? So let's continue reading. It's Ecclesiastes 7 to 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. You know, in, in the elect, we are in the house of mourning, you know, because here we are, we in this, living this amongst these wicked, uh, these wicked uh, people. You know, we got to see uh, Sodomites, all right? We got to see a um, whole bunch of wickedness throughout the day, man. You know, you seeing these niggas uh, effeminate, all right? You seeing these women uh, out of order, you know, walking around, you know, with that, with that, with that uh, proud look, haughty look, all right? Constantly around uh, sinners, you know? You, 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 gotta, you gotta drive and drive amongst demons. You know, you go to your, your job, you know, you got an Edomite that's over you, you know? And even if he's not an Edomite, say he's a, 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 a Jake, a, a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you know, he's wicked. You know, he, he, he shaves his beard, all right, so we're constantly around uh, wickedness. You know, you got children, your children has to go to these schools, you know, and they teaching all, they teaching our children all type of wickedness in these in these schools, you know? So we're surrounded by, uh, we're surrounded around death. We're surrounded around uh, sin, man. You know, and that's why we can't wait 
for a righteous world. All right, was like it says in the book of Second Peter. Uh, let me get that. This Second Peter three and three. I mean thirteen. Second Peter three and thirteen. Nevertheless, we according to His promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right now, where new is going back into refresh. You know, we we gonna can't wait to live amongst uh um um you know the. the uh, righteous righteousness you know okay because two-thirds of our people you know we understand according to prophecy that you know two-thirds of our people will be cut off you know but we waiting for all of israel to be in a right state of mind all right we waiting for these heathens to be in subjection unto us man you know but the whole earth is out of course you know yo yo, yo um yo, your pets are suffering you know the animals are suffering you know, you try to go walk on the beach. You know, it's beautiful, but we understand that the world is supposed to be better than the state that it's in, man. You know, you go to the beach, the the, the ocean is is destroyed. It's all dirty. They're taking out all the 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 um the animals that clean the oceans, the shrimp, the crab, the lobsters, the oysters. You know that we understand that that's those animals are supposed to be. Um, in the water, you know, to, to, to clean the ocean. But what they do, they take these animals, these creatures out of the ocean, you know, and, and um, feed them to you as a delicacy. All right, so we surrounded uh, around wickedness, man. And this, and and, and for that cause, we, we are uh, in a state of mourning, you know? Let's read that again, Ecclesiastes 7 to 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Right, man. That house of feasting, man. That that spirit, man, is is going to get you destroyed, man. You read about um, in the book of Matthew, all right, the account of um, the days of Noah, and um, let's get that because that's what we, you know, that's what we see, man. You know, especially on the weekends, you know, these people are in the house of, of, of feasting, man eating, drinking, partying, you know, we, 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 we can't wait to see this place, you know, get turned upside down, man. We can't wait to see these uh, people, man, in a state of mourning, man. All right, let's go to uh, Matthew 24 and verse uh, 37, and it reads, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, you know, because in the days of Noah, you know, what was Noah doing? He was out, you know, teaching, the people, you know, and Noah was in the spirit of sighing and crying, just like how we are. We, have, we go out there to the highways and byways. You know, we try to wake up, wake, wake up our people to the best of our ability. All right, we tell it. We try to compel our people to return back into your, into your how about Shmuel Shai. You know, because the days of Noah is repeated all over again. You know, but except, except uh, this time. The Lord is not going to flood the earth by way of water. The Lord is going to flood the earth by way of fire. Okay, and that's why we try to uh, warn our people about the destruction that's that's at hand. Okay, but our people, you know, they too busy, you know, um, being in the state of uh, partying and feasting. Okay, let's go to verse 38. It says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark you know and that's that's what we see you know constantly all throughout the day all throughout the uh, week man we seeing the state of the world in the spirit of uh, eating and drinking partying marrying you know and, and that's that's vexing man knowing knowing that what's about to come okay because perilous times are coming we go into that word perilous perilous goes back into dangerous savage times all right the worst time period on the planet earth is about to come upon the world you know we seeing the the motb you know um getting ready to, to roll out man all right you seeing the digital currency you know you go to the grocery stores you know everything is digital you know a lot of these stores are not accepting cash you know so we see the transitioning that's about to happen but the rest of the world, they don't see it because they've been given these distractions, all right? 
the scripture says a gift destroys the heart. Okay, and matter of fact, it says that um, as I continue to read down. So let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 3. It says, sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. You know, so as we're, as we're sad, you know, as we're, you know, sighing and crying, you know, our heart, which is going back into our, our mind, you know, is being made better, you know, because hey, we're, we're getting ready to go through the hour of temptation. Where everybody on the planet Earth is going to be tested. We're getting ready to, to go through perilous times, you know, but our minds are already, the Lord is preparing our minds, you know, to, to, to be able to make it through this time. But if you're always in the spirit of partying and drinking and being merry, you know, in that mirth spirit, you know, when shit hit the fan in, 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 in the streets of America and throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, you, you're not mentally, you're not going to be mentally, you know, uh, stable to make it through these times. Hey, so the Lord is, you know, bringing these trials and tribulations upon us, you know, but ultimately it's for our better, man. Okay, because you know we're used to suffering. We're used, we're used to, um, you know, going without, you know. So in the time of Jacob trouble, man, hey, the Lord says, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, man. All right, and you know, much wisdom make it the heart grief, you know. So we're we're being grieved, all right, just as Yahweh Shai was, man. Okay, the Scripture says the Lord He was acquainted with grief, you know. Hey, and we're 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 going through that as well, man, but. Hey, there is light at the end of, of the tunnel for us that's of the hopeful elect. Okay, let's go to verse four. It says, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, right? So the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So if you're in the spirit of, you know, sighing and crying, hey man, there's a good chance that you could be a part of the elect, you know, but we got to continue to endure. The scripture says, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. And let's get this, it's a, uh, Ezekiel 9 and verse 4, and it reads, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. All right, and Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And it says, And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. All right, and we go into that word mark here in the, uh, in the, uh, in the Old Testament, that word mark there is uh, thawa, all right, in the Hebrew, which means a mark of exemption, okay? So the elect is going to have that mark of exemption, which is a spiritual mark, okay? Because the Lord is giving, he's giving command unto the angels, okay? And they not some little white babies, you know, with the bow and arrow, with the diaper on. No, nah, the angels are large, dark-skinned men, Okay? Which 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 is which is fearful and a dreadful sight to to look upon. Okay, verse five. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. So the Lord, okay, he's giving charge to the angels. He gonna have mercy upon his elect, the ones who have the thawa, the mark of exemption. And the Lord is saying, Have no pity upon those who don't have the mark which is the two-thirds, all right, and the rest of the heathen nations, man, all right, because two-thirds of our people, Scripture says in Proverbs 11, 21, though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So a two-thirds of our people, they're going to die the death of the heathens, okay, because hey, spiritually, they are heathens, man, all right, they 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 in a Gentile state of mind, okay, they, 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 they're continuing to go along with the get-along, Okay, they want to continue to smoke weed. They want to continue to smoke. They want to continue to shave their, their, their beards. They want to continue to get lineups. They want to continue to be eating and drinking and partying and marrying. You know, because that's really, that's the spirit of, of Esau, Edom. Okay, what the scripture says, be, be glad and rejoice, O daughter of Edom. Hey, so, so Esau, he's supposed to be in the spirit of, you know, mirth, partying and drinking. Hey, but two thirds of our people, you're going to die. Just like just like a, a Edomite is going to die, all right. It's going to uh, Ezekiel nine of six. It says, "Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women." So the Lord is not a respecter of persons, you know. The Lord is going to be killing old, young, little children, 
All right, virgins, uh, fine women. Hey, the Lord is not a respecter of persons. And it says, but not, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin in my sanctuary. And who is the Lord's sanctuary? Let's get a quick scripture. First Peter four and verse 17. It says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. So that's who the Lord's sanctuary is, the house of the most high. Okay, and who is the house of the most high? That consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, and also you Israelite foreigners, who by the seed of your father, your line goes back unto the nation of Israel. So going back to Ecclesiastes 7 and 5, it reads, It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise. Right? And, who, and that's what we do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem al Shai. Okay, we go out to the highways and byways. All right, the Lord says, cry aloud, spare not. So when we go out to the highways and byways, and even when we make these lessons, we rebuke our people, okay? Scripture says rebuke them sharply. So here we are, we telling our people, you know, to stop following the ways of the heathen, all right? Stop um, celebrating these pagan holidays. Stop eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster, all right? Stop celebrating your birthday, okay? Because now that you, now that, if you know that you're, uh, you're a Hebrew Israelite that comes with a great responsibility, okay? We, we, we got to carry ourselves as a Hebrew Israelite, okay? You read about Yahweh Shai, you know, he ain't never celebrate his birthday, okay? He wasn't a mama's boy, right? You, you, you read about um, Job, you see how he suffered, um, he suffered and, and still uh, served the Lord, man. So the Lord gives us examples of how to conduct ourselves. All right, scripture says in Romans 15 and 4, the things that was written the fourth time are written for our learning. So these scriptures is here for us to learn and, and to apply the scriptures. So it said, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. All right, man, and, and this truth is equated to as a song. All right, you read the book of Revelation, um, the 14th chapter, okay? Because this is the true song right here. This is the real song. You know, but hey, our people, they rather, they rather uh, believe that they're Christians. They rather believe that they're Buddhists. You know, they rather believe that, that, that they're Africans, all right? You know, our people want to play, our people want to jam to all these other um, philosophies, you know, but when it comes to hearing the truth of the Bible, you know, Jake is like, nah, man, I, 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 I ain't getting down with that. All right, this is Revelation 14 and 3, hey, because this song is only for his elect. This is Revelation 14 and 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand was were redeemed from the earth. Right, man, because hey, cause only the elect is going is going to um, jam to this song, you know, spiritually, bro. You know, hey, because, uh, hey, man, this, this, is, this is the real song, man. All right, and, uh, this, this gospel, man, it, it's beautiful. Okay, the script says like living waters. Hey, man, so this song you could put it on repeat all day long. Okay, you 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 can listen to this song all day. It don't get old. All right, this this song doesn't go out of style. All right, and let me get one more scripture. This is um, Ezekiel thirty-three and thirty-three. It says, I mean thirty-two. It says, and lo, thou art, art unto them as a very lovely song of one that has a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Hey, man, so the scripture says, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, man. This is a this is a lovely song, man, all right? Waking up to who you are, all right? And knowing that you are Hebrew Israelite from your perspective tribe, man, all right? Knowing that the so-called uh, white nation is going to, be, be our slaves, man. All right? Hey, man, everything about this truth is beautiful, man. You know, hey, but this it's, it's not for two-thirds of our people. It's only for his elect, man. You read the book of Romans, the 11th chapter. All right, it says, What then? Israel have attained that which he seeketh for. The election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. So the Lord blinded two-thirds of our people, you know, for from, from hearing this song. Okay? So let's go to Ecclesiastes uh, seven. Let's 
there with me. All right, it's Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 6. It says, For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. And I want to read this in the NLT version. It says, A fool's laughter is quickly gone, like thorns crackling in a fire. All right, man, you, you take like a, a thorn or, you know, you throw it into the fire and it, it, it quickly uh, uh, burns away. It says, this also is meaningless, right, man? Hey, man, man. You know, Jake, Jake out here, they, 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 they in the spirit of laughter, hey, man. But that, that laughter is going to soon turn into sorrows, man. Okay, and, hey, and us, that's of the hopeful elect. Lord, whether we be of that number, you know, the scripture says, and um, uh, we shall laugh at their calamity. All right, we shall mock when their fear cometh, man. You know, and the Lord is going to use us. The laugh and mock at these jakes, man. You know, because right now they they laughing, they they kikiing. You know, they make fun of us. Hey, but the times are coming where the roles are going to switch, man. And like they say in the world, the last laugh is always the best laugh. So let's go to verse seven, Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. All right, so so oppression maketh a wise man mad. You know. And that's the elect, man. You know, here we are. We 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 working, you know, for 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 crumbs. All right, we subject unto payments. All right, the book of Haggai one six says we have a bag full of holes. You know, our sons and our daughters are. We can't enjoy our sons and our daughters, man. You know, cause we we always gotta work. You know, we gotta send our son and daughters to these schools, man. You know, um, everything about this place. It's full of vexation, you know, your children, you know, watching Disney Channel, you know, they pushing this uh, LGBTQ upon our, our children, man. You know, we eating defiled foods, fluoride, chemtrails in the air, you know. Hey, man, everything about this place is, uh, is vexing, man, you know. But only a wise man is going to see that they are actually being oppressed, you know. Hey, we got to pay, pay water bill, pay light bill pay car insurance you know a ain't you ain't ain't our people tired of you know being slaves you know hey the lord created us to be the head and not the tail you know well, right now we, we the tail man we gotta go to our enemies for the one of all things you know you need a loan you know you gotta go to what go to your enemies you need clothing you gotta go to your enemies all right you thirsty you gotta go to your enemies you know you hungry you gotta go to your enemies everything that we need, we got to go to our enemies, man. Okay? And it says a gift destroyed the heart. But two, hey, two thirds of our people, you know, they've been given those gifts, man. You know, they got the high paying jobs, you know. That 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 destroyed our people's minds. You know, our women on, uh, they get child support, Section 8, you know, WIC, you know, welfare. That That's destroying um, the minds of our people, man. All right? And closing out with uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. It reads, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, right? Okay, because the end of the world, uh, Jacob is, uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, you know? Hey, because what was our um, beginning? You know, slavery, all right? But we're going to go from slave, from from um, slave chains to slave, I mean, we're going to go from slave ships to um, to chariots, man. All right, we're going to go to slave. We're going to go from slave ships to um, to um, spaceships, you know? All right. It says, read that again. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Right, beginning, we was in slavery. All right, we was picking cotton, picking strawberries, getting our backs beat in, you know? But right now, we at the end of this thing, man. Hey, and that's why the, the elect are in the spirit of, uh, you know, rejoicing, man. You know, we're sighing and crying. Hey, but at the end of the day, we're we're in the spirit of rejoicing, man. All right, we're seeing the downfall of our enemies, man. We're seeing the, the economy collapse. All right, and it says, um, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit, man. Hey, because hey, the Lord is coming back to destroy all pride, proud, pride. Okay, pride go before destruction, and the haughty spirit before a fall, man. All right, and this is a thing of patience, man. Okay, hey, because we're patiently waiting. Well, yeah, how about Shemal Shah, man? Think about our apostles and elders. 
the apostles been laboring and toiling in his work for 30 plus years man a lot of uh they've been laboring this work um uh, um longer than a lot of us been born man you know so imagine you know what the apostles and the elders are going through man all right but this is this is all about being patient man all right patiently waiting upon you how about your mouth and while we uh, patiently waiting we're gonna be going through sufferings okay hey but the end of this thing man is is salvation and that's what we that's what we fighting for man that's why we got to continue to endure all right because salvation is right around the corner the scripture says um romans 13 and, and 11 um it's high time to wake out of sleep our right, salvation is nearer than we believe so i'm gonna wrap it up with that i pray that this lesson was edifying unto the hopeful elect i'm gonna give all praise honor and glory to my power yahweh bahasham yahweh shai double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone peace and blessings to the hopeful elect the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh by Shemel Shai also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude the men, women, and children that Yahweh by Shemel Shai will show mercy upon in these last days the Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shai for giving me the spirit of truth the Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shai for giving me the Holy Spirit the Rechak Wadash to make this lesson Lord willing until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. DTA, call me Ashala. Shalom.